today. This dawn is sweet enough to let us video us prepping the tooth. Now we want, we're prepping six teeth. Uh, she's got composites all in these teeth and she wants a new smile. So we, we've got, um, you know, six, seven, and eight already prepped. Bite, bite your teeth together for me and we're checking for clearance. We got good clearance. We need at least one and a half to two millimeters there. And we have that. And I'm also open for me just a minute, Dawn. We're also looking in both directions. We're looking at how how much reduction we have from the buckle standpoint. And so many people don't roll, take enough off the buckle and roll the buckle in. So let me kind of just show you this, just so we don't have to do that. I'm going to use a, a right here. Uh, I'm going to use a red strike number 018. Because my final ball. So I'm going to just lay the buckle in the a little bit. And the sides of the sides of the end of the just have a little more roll to our steps here so I have enough room. And that gives us a little better. Now, we're going to start prepping them out and I'm going to just bring it back up to you. Like the Brassler Super Coarse Diamonds, just round in diamonds. And this is an 016 Brassler Diamond. And so, first thing you do is you always look and see where your occlusion is. Bite your glass for me, please, man. Bite. And we're right in the middle of the tooth, kind of a normal class one type bite. Okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is incisor reduction. And we're going to do a three, three notch incisor, like that. About the thickness of the bowl. We're going to connect the back. And notice how my fingers here are holding the hand piece. Now we're going to, on the label on the buckle, we're going to put in our three duck three. One, two, three. Almost the depth of the bowl, at least most of it. That's at least about a one to one and a half millimeter depth. Now we're going to connect, and we're staying in the top two-thirds of the tooth. We're going to connect our, our depth cut. And you need to use relatively new diamonds, fairly sharp diamonds. So now we're connecting and we're smoothing, and I'm going to do that little roll we talked about. That's in this turn. Now we're going to drop down and move in size of one third and create our margin down near the gingival margin, right up the gingival margin. We're following the gingival contours. Now we're going to go and do our interfractional cut. And this is a length 016 diamond. And this is the right version here. And we're coming on the medial. We're doing our interfractional cut here. So we're pretty much right with the gingival margin. Now we're connecting the measure to the buckler, creating our center. Now at this point, I'm going to go to the linger. And I'm going to use indirect vision. I'm going to look in my mirror. And I'm going to start the line angle here. And at the gingival margin, I'm connecting it. And I'm coming around right, so right where the gingival margin is. And I'm thinking it's about the depth. Add this old one stick bar and creating a sample. A nice smooth motion. Now, I now have my preliminary margin. I'm looking for the 360. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bar at a 45 degree angle and make a lingual reduction, a size of reduction, all the way to the finger at about a 45 degree angle. And this is very important. So many times this is not done by doing this. That's a 45 degree reduction. Then I'm going to go to a, a red stock tip bar diamond. This is red stock time grip. I'm going to use the work version. I'm using an extra silicon, an extra finger brush here. And I'm going to start at the finger area. And I've got to reduce one and a half millimeters. With the foot bar coming from the finger and up, you know, and up the linger. Now, the linger surface needs to be concave, not convex. The biggest problem we see in, 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 in the dentistry is dentistry, not 
to reduce a mess in the lead wheel and make it a concave surface and the car to keep up back the lead wheel. It ain't too much like the one you got it if the truck is not, if it's not kept enough. It's already been all in there. Now, we're going to check the box safe together. And I can see up in there now, you know, I almost got almost perfect reduction there on the lens. Okay? Now we're going to go and we're going to refine the clip. We have a round, round in. This is an 018, but we have 016 for labyrinth sizes. But for centrals, now we're going to do our final part of the clip. We're going to round everything off. Uh, so we're now going to do our final the final of the margin. We're going to round off the labia, connect the line angles, and just smooth it out. You do need a millimeter and a half to two millimeter shoulder, at least a millimeter and a half shoulder. And this is just a and I'm going to use indirect vision and turn back to the side the margins on the angle. And then I'm going to, I'm going to round off any stuff on the edge and see if it hurts because whether you're standing or you're standing in the middle of the road, 3D, and you don't need any stuff on the edge of the road, either in the dog Right over, right over, and just round everything over. And I pretty well have established my 360 foot. Here, if you will, it's all back together, okay, Mike? All right, I'm looking right now, and I can see I've got good, good clearance from the lingo. I'm looking for both, both angles. I may want to add just a little on that. Those and those, that's enough. Football diamond and get in doubt, just give them a little more room. They're not going to reach the teeth. They need to get the lab. Especially up there in size of one third. Give them enough room for material. So that you can work out the type of thickness and work out the size of diamond on the teeth. And if you want to do this, you can come back and just smooth it on. And if it's the time for the tissues, the tissues will be time for you. I'm also looking on the labial to see how that rolls with the other preps to see that they're all in the same plane. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you prep a central incisor. And I don't know if you can see that from all different angles there. Now bite your teeth together. There you go. You come straight on with that one okay, with your camera. All right. All right. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to show you how you go back to the basics to learn how to prep central incisors.